You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your two-week spoilers for GH. These run Monday, November 6th, all the way through Friday, November 17th. And oh my gosh, there is so much to talk about, especially given what happened on Friday of this past week on the 3rd, and then what's happening the following Friday. They are hitting those Friday beats really hard in November sweeps. I have so much to tell you guys about. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe, and now we're going to dig right in. On Monday the 6th, Valentin is horrified. He is appalled. Charlotte has been shot. He is going to be at the hospital panicking. Anna shot his little girl. And if you had just, I don't know if I'm the only one who did this, but I paused Friday's final scenes and they were so dark and I took a couple of screenshots and I lightened them way up. I'm going to show you guys one of them here in just a second. But um, if you look, they, they didn't do the lighting well to make this clear, but once you see this picture, it'll be clear. Um, she had that black flashlight in her hand and the, and the light went out and she was banging it. And when she turned around, when Anna did the freeze or whatever, she turned around. And so she had this black metal thing in her hand. And so with the light being behind Anna, I'm sure when she looked in, she saw somebody shrouded in black and that hint of black metal, which looked like a gun. It was a flashlight. People get shot all the time when stuff is in their hand, you know, and and, and people think it's a gun. So it's terrible. We're going to see Anna panicking on Monday because she has shot her. She's going to call 911. They're going to get her to the hospital. Also on Monday, Finn is feeling a little unsure of himself, and Esme Prince has a serious chat with Laura Spencer. She tells her that she wants to move out of there, that she's really grateful, but she needs to stand on her own two feet, and she confesses to Laura that she's you know, crushing on, on Spencer a little, and she needs to just get some, some room away from him. She needs some breathing room and Laura agrees. And Esme seems sincere. She says she doesn't want to cause problems for him and Trina. And she just, she needs to be out on her own. And Laura is very supportive. Chase says something he shouldn't have. He's got his foot stuck in his mouth and Sam and Dante are both concerned. I'm sure this is about what has happened with Charlotte. And, you know, given that they're all worried about who's been targeting Anna and then there's this Charlotte thing. So kind of it's all down to whether Valentine is going to come clean. I'll talk about that more in just a second. On Tuesday, Sam is thrilled because Drew Kane drops in on her and Scout and then he takes Scout with him because he wants to spend time with her and they go over so he can thank Alexis for what she did for him. Sunny is there to support Anna on Tuesday. Of course, she's horrified that she has shot this kid. But, you know, A, the kid is probably an arsonist, definitely a vandal and was, you know, going through her stuff, had broken into her, technically not broken in. She'd stolen her keys. So, you know, Anna was on high alert. So this is all just very upsetting. And it's all going to be down to how Valentine handles it. Gregory helps Alexis, who is struggling with a morally gray decision. Robert Scorpio tries to explain himself and Curtis gets some advice. Wednesday, November 8th, Austin is acting really sketchy. He's always acting sketchy. By the end of this week, he's going to wind up just going to the cops to confess because he's worried what Mason is going to do. He's, you know, worried about Ava. He's just, he's sick of being under Cyrus's thumb. What I'm curious about is what all he's going to confess. Is he going to confess all of it that he's been under Cyrus's thumb, that he's been doing these, you know, off the book surgeries, that he saved Nicholas, that Mason kidnapped? I'm just very curious because there's a lot he could confess, but he might end up in really bad trouble with Cyrus, but maybe he doesn't even care. Michael is relieved on Wednesday and Sasha is trying to, you know, put things back together at Deception now that she's going to be back to work. And Tracy has an announcement. Plus, Sunny has some shocking info for Ava 
and I'm sure it's about Cyrus and Austin and Mason. Then we're on Thursday the 9th. Dante catches up with Anna and Sonny and fills them in. I'm sure this is about the shooting investigation. And Olivia leaps to action. It looks like Ned has an accident, and we're going to find out the result of that on the following day. Spencer is very upset at Laura because he overhears her talking to Esme. Esme's been apartment hunting. She found something that she thinks will work for her. Laura is supportive and encouraging, and he feels like his grandmother is screwing him over by encouraging Esme's independence, and that's going to be a messy scene. Lois warns her daughter, and Valentine is cautious on Thursday. I wonder if he's going to just, the right thing to do is right now just him tell Anna, look, Charlotte definitely vandalized the hotel room. She possibly burned your house down. And, you know, this is all down to Victor programming her. And, you know, that's why she clearly took your keys. Because I'm sure Anna's going to find the keys, you know, on her or near her. Or he could just lie and cover for his daughter and say, oh, Charlotte must have found your keys and was dropping them off, which just would make Anna feel horrible, you know, even though the kid was poking around, you know, if he says that, it would be terrible because it would kind of put the onus of everything on Anna instead of on Charlotte and him for not coming clean. I really hope he comes clean. I just don't know if he's gonna. I mean, he's really trying to protect Charlotte and now that Charlotte is shot, this is so messy, so soapy, very November sweepsy. Friday, November 10th, Trina has some things to say. I'm sure this is about Spencer's outrage over Esme moving out because I'm sure Trina is probably going to be very supportive of Esme not being under the same roof as her boyfriend. And Liz unloads while Laura offers her sympathy and tea. And I wonder if this is about Jake because Dante is questioning him sometime this week over at Anna's apartment. I'm sure it's going to be like, when did you notice that Charlotte was gone? Did she say anything? Stuff like that. You know, have you noticed anything at all? So I don't know exactly when he's going to question him, but I feel like that might be what has Liz stressed out. Alexis and Blaze have a nice conversation on Friday and Olivia is celebrating. Ned's memories are back, you guys, and we know what that means. Sonny's about to find out everything. We usually have a few undated spoilers for you, but the soap magazine that offers this little kind of sidebar of info for stuff next week, completely all outdated. I don't know what they were thinking, what they screwed up over there. So it was weird. So I don't have any undated spoilers for you, but that's okay because all the dated ones are really good. Now, the two weeks of November 13th through 17th, Dante interrogates Austin. So Austin's confessing but I'm wondering if he's withholding some info and that's why Dante is interrogating him. I wonder if he is going to be formally arrested or if Robert is going to offer him a deal to roll over on Cyrus because everybody would love if they could get Cyrus back in prison and Austin might be the key. Maxie makes a stunning announcement and BLQ and her mom Lois are strategizing. This has to be something to do with Tracy and BLQ's granny's plans for the rest of her life. All right, that's all the GH spoilers I have for you guys. Be sure and come back. I'll have November sweep spoilers. I'll have comings and goings info for you guys over the next couple of days and our weekly prediction edition. I'm excited to talk soaps with you guys every single day, and I'm here seven days a week with new General Hospital videos for you. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely drop your comments on what you're excited to see these two weeks. By the time these two weeks are done, we're only going to have like... I think three episodes of sweeps left after these spoilers all play out. So big stuff is coming. Be sure and come back here soon. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 